Welcome back to Lonely Man BGs and this series on how to play War of the Ring. In this video, we'll be going over how to set up the game, which is found on page 14 of the rulebook. Step 1. We will place the game board on the table. Step 2. The ring bearer's figure is placed on the Rivendell region. Step 3. The fellowship progress counter is placed on step 0 of the fellowship track. The hidden side is placed face up. The corruption counter is also placed on step 0 of the fellowship track. Step 4. All companion cards are placed in the guide of the fellowship box. Gandalf the Grey is placed on top, since he is the starting guide of the fellowship. The Aragorn, Gandalf the White, and Golem cards are set aside for later use. Step 5. All companion figures, as well as their counters, are placed in the Fellowship of the Ring box. The Golem figure is set aside for later use as well. Step 6. The three Elven Ring counters are placed in the Free People's Elven Rings box. The ring side is placed face up. Step 7. Set aside the Shadow Minion cards in their figures and place them to the side for later use. Step 8. Separate the Free People's and Shadow Event cards into Character and Strategy decks. Shuffle them, then place them on their corresponding areas on the game board. Step 9. Place the standard or beige hunt tiles in a cup or container. This is the hunt pool. Special hunt tiles, the blue and red ones, are set aside for later use. Step 10. The shadow player will take 7 action dice. The free people's player will take 4 action dice. The combat dice are set aside as well. Step 11. We will now place the political counters. The North, the Rohan, the Elven, and the Dwarven Nation counters are placed in the top box. The Gondor and Southern slash Easterlin counters are placed in the second box. Finally, the Sauron and Isengard counters are placed in the third box, above the At War box. The Elves are placed active side up, along with the Shadow Nations. Step 12. All plastic figures will be sorted by their color and type. Now, on pages 16 and 17 in the rulebook, you'll find a diagram of Middle Earth that shows how many units to place in each region. I won't be showing you this since it'd be pointless, but I will give you a general sense of where the factions are, starting with the Free Peoples. Dwarves are located mostly to the north. The Elves have units in the Grey Havens, Rivendell, the Woodland Realm, and Lorien. Gondor, the North, and Rohan each have units in their respective areas. Now the Shadow. Isengard has units centered around Orthanc. Sauron's forces are mostly found in Mordor, with a large force at Dol Guldur. He also has a small presence in Moria and Mount Gundabad. The Southerns and Easterlings have units right where you think they'd be, in the south and the east. And this concludes our setup for War of the Ring. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at victory conditions. Thanks for watching.